So you like soft and you like body. Why not put them together and put and create some soft bodies? Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at uh, soft bodies in 2.8. I have a soft bodies video already on the channel. Um, for those of you that have been following for a long time, you know that, but I wanted to do one that's updated for 2.8. Not much is different, just a GUI, but I wanted a specific 2.8 soft bodies video. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use default cube today because I love me some default cube. We're going to hit uh, shift A to add in a plane, a mesh plane. Hit uh, S to scale this bad boy up just a little bit, then that'd be super huge. And we'll go ahead and grab default cube and move him up. So we hit G, Y. Just move them up just above the plane so we have some space to drop down. We're going to go ahead and with default cube selected, I want to go ahead and go down to the last tab, which is the physics tab, and we will add a soft body physics on the default cube. We'll go ahead, and now if we hit play on our scene, if I'm going to move this to zero frame because that bugs me, we're going to play on our scene. You can see it just kind of jiggles up and down. Default cube just bounces up and down, which is not what we need. That's because goal is checked, so if we uncheck goal, you can see, it drops, but it drops straight through the plane and into infinity until the scene stops. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. I want to go ahead and, and select our plane and add in a collision modifier. This is going to help us so, it, so the uh, cube doesn't go straight through. So if we play it now, you can see that it stops right onto the plane and it just bounces a little bit. Now you can see it does bounce a little bit, has a nice little bouncy thing, but then it collapses, which is not what we need. So we're going to go ahead and fix this bad boy up. I want to go ahead and uh, open up the edges tab in the cubes soft body physic and you can see we have all these settings here but before we do that I want to go ahead and hit tab now we now you can see we only have a couple different vertices we have this guy this guy this guy this guy and then and then wait, this guy this guy this guy and this guy so we literally only have eight vertices for default cube and that makes a cube so we need more vertices. <laughs> we don't have enough for the soft body to know, hey, we want this specific part to jiggle because if you notice, if I play this again, you can see, no, oh, if I play it from the beginning, you have to play it from the beginning. You can see that if it start, once it starts going, you see these two edges are going up and down and these two are going down and up. So what it's only doing is just moving those four vertices up and down and over on the side and all over the place. But that's because it, Blender needs more vertices to work with. So we're going to go ahead and go back into Edit Mode and tab. Double tap A to select everything. We're going to go up to uh, um, Edge and then Subdivide. Or we can just hit uh, right, we can right click and hit Subdivide. So that's what we're going to do. Now we have a couple different vertices. We're going to go ahead and hit it one more time. So right click, Subdivide. There we go. Now we have a, a few more vertices, a few more faces here. Go out of edit mode by hitting tab. Now if we play this, you can see much more vertices to work with. Now we got a little bit of lag there for a second, but that's fine. Um, there we go. That's better. Much more vertices to work with, but now you can see it just completely collapses all by itself. That's because there's more vertices now, and before it was like a bunch of planks of wood trying to bounce on each other. So they were stayed up for a second, but then they fell in the end. But now it's like a bunch of pieces of a blanket that's just falling. So now what we have is... Um, now what we have to do is we have to go over here and, and, and mess around with these settings. Now, if I put bending, bending is what's really going to help us out. If I put bending to one and play this, you can see that it's completely different. Yep, completely different. Now you can see it's like a um, like a like a like a like a bouncy house or something like that. I don't know, but it's still it's still really loose. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to fix this up um, by playing around with the push pull and also the damp. So we don't really need to mess with the plastic. Plastic pretty much like is if. You want it to dent your object. You could put the plastic up to a certain amount of, yeah, there we go. It says permanent deform. So pretty much what this is going to do, if I were to drop this like off of, like, say, a, a skyscraper, um, you would see that if you dropped a bowl off, it would either, one, shatter, which is most likely what it would do, but it would also dent. It would dent itself because it's made of plastic. So this that setting is pretty much going to help us out with um, with denting things permanently and making them, like, have, a, have an edge or a... Um, or a, like, a, like a flatter plateau kind of area. So we don't really need that for today. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the push-pull up to 0.8 for both of these. No, 0 0.8. 0 0.8 for both of these. Um, and we'll see what difference that has. Oh. What this is going to do pretty much is going to make it a little bit more bouncy. A little bit more, um, a little bit more stable. But there you go. You can see that. If I were to go ahead and turn push all the way to zero and pull all the way up, which is 999.999. It doesn't go all the way up to one. I know it's weird. Um, if we go ahead and play, you can see what it does is it pretty much just collapses before it even hits anything. <laughs> um, so, oops, so there we go. 
So it's pulling it in. It's pulling all the vertices inward. Pretty much is what, that's why it's called pull. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go ahead and put that to zero now. Put pull to pull to zero, and then push all the way to nine nine nine. You can see what the difference this has is. It pushes. <laughs> So really when it means push and pull, it actually means push and pull. So it's a very good way of uh, explaining that. I'm going to go ahead and put these to point 0.2, and I put the bending to 10, all the way up to 10. Yeah, I know. Now you can see when this, uh, when this bounces, it's kind of going to do like a little hard edges. You can see all the edges are kind of hard, but all the middle pieces are still pretty, uh, pretty loose, pretty swingy. So I'm going to go ahead and put the push-pull up to 8. 0.8 and 0.8 once again. Actually, we might want to go all the way up to point, uh, not 0.9, but no, 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 not 0.99, but just 0.9. Yeah, there we go. So 0.9 for both of those, and we will also go ahead and put um, and put the, the damp up in a second, but not right now. I want to see what this does, so you can see the difference. We have that cube, but it's still jiggling around a little bit. I can go ahead and turn smooth shading on, by the way. So object smooth, shade, shade smooth. Um, we can also add a subdivision surface. This is going to give us a little bit of lag though, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and play this from the beginning. There we go. Now it's much easier to see what's going on. Um, so yeah, let me put these on 8. I don't like when these aren't on 8. So I like the point 0.8 for those. We can also turn stiffness on, and stiffness will give us a, a lot more of a hard body type of looking thing. Um, see, if, if it wasn't like you see, it just kind of bounces up and down, and the actual faces are the parts that's jiggling instead of the actual mesh so let's uncheck the stiffness because i don't like that so much we'll turn bending down from 10 because that's too much we'll turn it to like three and we'll turn the damp up to like 0.7 i guess we play this you can see now it's much more soft looking now the edges are also deforming themselves which is pretty nice go ahead and turn the bending yeah, maybe down even more too and we'll turn the damp up to 0.9 all right so that looks pretty good yeah, there we go. So now it's kind of like uh, bending down a little bit. I'll, I'll turn the push down to 0.4, so I kind of want I kind of want to push out a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. That looks really jiggly, right? Really jiggly, maybe not 0.4, maybe 0.5 for this one. Or maybe I want to flip that. Let's flip it. Yeah, let's flip. So let's put push on, on 0.8, not 9, on 0.8, and we'll put the pull really low to like 0.2. Yeah, there we go. So it kind of just like bumps out. It's like a waterbed, essentially. It's like a waterbed that's, you know... That's kind of low on water. It's seen better days, you know. So we're going to go ahead and fix that up. Now, if we want to go ahead and actually... Let me turn the subsurf off because it's going to kill my computer. Um, uh, shade flat also. So if we go ahead and hit Shift D on these and then duplicate them, and maybe we want some of the cubes to interact with each other. We'll go ahead and just like put a couple... Of, we'll put. We'll just do one for now because <laughs> I know how this is going to go. Uh, we'll just put one up there for now. Shift D. G to move around. Now if we play this, you can see that when they collide... Wait a second, wait a second, they don't collide. See, that's a problem. Now if we go ahead and go back, select both of our cubes, go to the physics tab, and add in a collision. We need a collision, we can't just have soft body. We have to have collision on both of these. On both of the cubes, we need collision. Now, we can actually go ahead and hit play. They will actually collide into each other. Um, and they will deform each other and mess around, and it's really, really good uh, because it looks fantastic. The cube is, you know, being you know, squashed right now, it will pop back up, don't worry though, um, but yeah, so that's, it's obviously taking a little bit of time, but that's, uh, that's totally fine, but you can see how we can have a lot of these, that's why I said let's only do one, <laughs> you can see how we can have a lot of these cubes just bounce off each other, and have a really, really awesome scene, I love soft body physics, it's a lot of fun to play around with, um, I just could do an entire video about fun with soft body physics, but I think that's going to be it for today. I think that's uh, that we've covered enough of the basics. Um, you can also go ahead and go to the actual collision tab, uh, collision uh, modifier now, and mess around with the perme perme permeability, stickiness, damping, randomize, um, and stuff like that. But uh, for the soft body part, um, there is a soft body and cloth tab in the, in the collision modifiers uh, section here. You can see we have damping, thickness, outer thickness, uh, and friction, stuff like that. This will help you if you're having problems with the actual collision of the two cubes, and this will make it so that they're thicker or thinner so they don't pass through each other, which is really great. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. This secondary cube is having a hard time puffing back up. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then... Bye-bye.